Hi, I'm Jonathan Weinberg. Um, I'm going to do a really quick review. I hope it's a quick review. Uh, it's one of those sort of unboxing, um, although I have, it's not complete unboxing because I actually have unboxed it before, but I have an ink pen. And um, I ordered a pen from a Goulet, Goulet Pen Company. Uh, and it comes with a little card. Thank you from Brian and Rachel. I, I don't know if they actually, I don't think they actually write this card. I think it's a copy of a card. Um, and here's the pen. It's not a very expensive pen. It's the Sail Sailor Compass pen. And uh, comes in this nice box. And the reason, see, mostly I use pens to uh, draw with. But the more, what happens is you become obsessed with fountain pens and also I really sort of just like them. And I particularly like um, things that are translucent and colors. And I, I cut, uh, as you know, I, I cut out um, plexiglass and um, I make cutouts and uh, I also paint on uh, plastic which are then put on glass and so I have a thing for that and um, I saw uh, the other day that there was a sailor pen that was wisteria colored it's an extremely expensive pen I mean when I say expensive for me expensive would be hundreds of dollars I think I think the cheapest I could get it was for four hundred dollars so just for the color I'm not going to do that but then you know looking late at night looking at pens and everything I saw that there um, was an inexpensive sailor pen that seems to be similar in color maybe somebody else knows how close it is or is it close and it's one of these compass pens which all which come in a whole range of different colors and on the Goulet uh, site it's only around thirty dollars so I ordered it and it comes in this box I'm kind of surprised that it comes in such an elaborate box and like a, a, a lot of other sailor pens as far as I know it comes with the converter as well as uh, cartridges and it has this little um, insert, uh, rubber insert that holds the pen. And uh, here's the pen. And you can see that it's this um, wonderful purple color. I think it's a beautiful color. Um, I hope you can see that there. And uh, so I was charmed by the color. So I'm going to, this is tr truly a... Uh, 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 a new experience for me to see um, how well this is going to work. Um, it is, as you can see, it's an acrylic plastic pen. Um, again, if you look at it, um, probably better to look at it under this light. You can see nice things. The feed is clear plastic, so that means that when the ink is in the pen, you will be able to see it drip down to the point. And there's the nib, um, which now I'm remembering, I believe, is a medium. Um, because I actually like mediums. Uh, I'm not a big fan of scratchy nibs. So, sailor nibs are supposed to be, or as they say, they give you a bit of a feedback. Uh, so we will, we will see. On sample. This is a sailor compass. I should say that um, I've seen that this same pen is called the Junior, the Sailor Junior, I believe. Um, I think that's, I've read that, that, that it's the same pen. And the ink is Taki Sumi, which is pilot. Obviously, it's black. All right. And there's really no discernible flex to this. There's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure.
and let's try that again. Yeah, it's a good good wetness. In here, let me write something. <laughs> I got that wrong brown lazy dog. It's too right. So it writes very nicely. I would say that it's pretty nice. It's smooth, smooth, but it has a little bit of feedback. Which is nice. It's actually Quite nice writer. Let's see. Oh. Wow. It does reverse right very well actually. It's a nice pen. I love I love the color. And I would think that most people would probably put purple ink into this. I think if I just use it for writing, I would do that. Looking at it, it's a very nice pen. Um, One thing that I will, I'll sh I could show you is a comparison, size comparison. So here's a Conklin word gauge. Um, this is the Pilot um, Falcon. Here is the ubiquitous Metropolitan. So it's not too small a pen. <laughs> Let's see. So it gives you a sense of size. So to sum up, I would say that this is a really nice pen, particularly for thirty dollars. Um, you know, time will tell. It is clearly you know mass-produced industrial uh, pen. Um, it's quite light. Um, you know, it's not that different from some Chinese pens that I've seen that are on, that are that are even cheaper. Um, but it really is it is pretty, and they and it writes very nicely. Uh, so I'm pleased with this purchase.